How's it going everybody? This is Beat the Bush. This is the new net 1.7 liter mini hot pot. It weighs less than two pounds and the small size makes it so that you can travel with it easily. When you travel, sometimes they have food markets that sells you fresh seafood. For me at least, I don't really want to use the utensils or pots at the Airbnb and the hotels don't have any. So having a multi-purpose cooking thing can be very, very handy. One time I needed to cook some Matsutake mushroom because I wanted to try that. Maybe you just wanna get takeout without buying the rice. You can cook your own rice in this as well. It comes with a three foot power cable and it plugs in right in the back. It comes with this carrying bag, except it's a through hole band. You can put your power cord in the top, put the sleeve through the bottom and wrap it over the top like this. And this can help keep everything together inside your luggage. For testing, let me put in some water. Low heat uses 240 watts. After 40 minutes, it'll automatically switch to keep warm for six hours. Anything more than that, it'll turn off. Quick Cook uses 480 watts. This will run for 20 minutes and then switch to keep warm for six hours. After that, it'll turn off. Rice also uses 480. After that, it'll keep warm for six hours and then turn off automatically. One hour hot pot is gonna run at 480 watts on high. After that, it'll turn off. Six hour porridge is actually gonna stand by for five hours, so that's why it's zero. And then it's gonna cook one hour at 300 watts. After that, it'll keep warm for six hours and then power off. Keep warm is about 15 watts. Let's try and fry an egg. I'm gonna set it to quick cook. It ramps up to around 500 watts. Yeah, it's getting warm. Add a little bit of oil. This is a non-stick surface, so it's not gonna stick to your egg. Although it's only four or 500 watts, it has quite a bit of power, it seems. It doesn't stick to the bottom. Most of the egg got out. Now let's try to cook some rice. I have one cup here, put it in, put in some water. We can try to wash it from this pot because we won't have a bunch of containers when we're traveling. Pour out the dirty water, rinse again. Do it the third time. Instruction manual says use one and a half times the water. So let's try to do that. And here is half more cup. We close the lid, plug it in, set it to the auto cooking rice option right there. And we'll see how this turns out. About 40 minutes later, it went into keep warm mode. Let's see how it did. Let's give this a try. Reasonable in a pinch. It's not gonna be as good as a dedicated rice cooker, but it's reasonable enough. There's a six hour porridge option here. You typically would use this if you wanna have porridge the next morning. You set it up at night, put all your ingredients in, and because it's sitting there for six hours, you shouldn't put things that's too perishable, such as meat inside. Since it's just a timer, I'm just going to marinate my own rice for the porridge. One third cup rice. And this is basically one serving and they recommend you to use a one to 10 ratio for porridge, marinating the rice. And then add as much salt as you would want to eat with this. So I just add a little bit and kind of mix that around and let the rice marinate. I'm gonna set this aside for two, three hours or so. Sometimes when I'm traveling, they have some specialized meats I want to buy, but I don't have anything to cook with. Here I have some pork from a local grocery store. Certainly you can replace this with some premium meats from a department store. In Spain, they have belota pork. You can't import those in the US. Let's marinate this pork and mix it in with the porridge. While that porridge is being made, we can put some of this dim sum on the top rack to steam. Just get some of this. Add a little bit of soy sauce, pepper, sesame seed oil. We chop up some mushroom. Put in the one third cup of rice. Break that up a little bit before putting it in. We do one to 10 ratio. That means I need three and a third cups of these. One, two, three, and a third. Putting the pork in and also the mushroom. We'll put on the steaming rack and put in some of this dim sum. There we are. And steam some vegetables along with it. Okay. To cook the porridge immediately, set it on 40 minute low. Set a timer here to see how long it takes for it to start steaming. Seven minutes in, starting to steam a little bit. Now let's check underneath. Boiling vigorously. Probably need around 10 minutes of steaming, so we'll come back in 10 minutes to check on them. Move this over here and put this back on. And our porridge can keep on cooking. Check it out. Let me try this. Yup, nice and hot. Now we have a mushroom pork porridge. 
Use a plastic spoon for scraping so you won't harm the non-stick surface here. Put a little garnish, add a little bit of white pepper. It's gonna taste like congee, pork congee. Let's try this pork rib that I cooked inside there. Just an idea. Berkshire pork, you can buy some Spanish barnacles per CBs and steam them. Wagyu at a Japanese department store. When you go to the supermarket and buy your own ingredients, you can see how fresh they are. It's also multiples cheaper than eating it at a restaurant. Sometimes when you eat at a restaurant, they just steam it for you. So there's very little skill involved. You can just steam it at home, buy the special food that you want and have at it at a greatly reduced cost. If you guys are interested in this new net travel cooker, check out my affiliate link down in the video description below. Thanks for watching this video. Until next time.